Hey everybody, I uh, just got home and found this package sitting on my kitchen table. So, uh, a little too excited. Uh, haven't had a chance to open it. Uh, from what I know, this should be the laser assembly um, for my emblazer, which wasn't working the last time. Um, so, hopefully, if I get this installed, everything should work correctly. They did tell me they were going to be sending me the laser module and the PCB to just mitigate against either or being the problem. So uh, why don't we just jump into this and see exactly what it is. Hopefully this will fix all of my problems. And this came TNT. They usually ship DHL. So I'm guessing for their repairs, they're contracting with TNT, um, you know, which is great because TNT is actually a really good service. Uh, kind of expensive, but um, they did say they were going to refund me once I send the faulty unit back. So we just have to wait and see if that's actually going to be the case. So, all right, nothing else in the box. Let's see what they send. Bubble wrap, there's the uh, Darkly Labs card. Okay, so this is the PCB. Um, so it's got a PCB and then a limit switch here. Uh, limit switch PCB. Um, more bubble wrap. And let's see what they sent. I was assuming I was just going to get the laser module, but it looks like they sent me the complete laser assembly. Um, which is fine. I can replace it real easily. Uh, they don't make it hard to replace. Um, no, it did come in an ESD bag, so, um, you know, to mitigate against uh, issues with uh, electrostatic discharge. Um, now, the PCB usually comes in ESD also. This part, I think I would have been a little bit more cautious with, um, but it looks like it's just switches and connectors, so it's not a big deal. This part, um, the laser unit's actually housed within the aluminum. So, um, you know, we're all good. Uh, so let's see if we can't just get this repaired real quick. I'm gonna slide the laser assembly over and grab my handy dandy screwdriver and get this swapped out. So um, I might have to time lapse this because it might take a little bit, but um, hopefully we'll have this up and running soon. All right, here we go. Okay, just in case you guys were wondering, um, on the laser removal and replacement, uh, I found the easiest way to do it was to first uh, take off the PCBs. So begin by unplugging laser assembly on the back side of the uh, laser module PCB. Um, and then go ahead and remove the limit switch on the lower right side and the PCB uh, behind the laser. Um, this seems to be the easiest way to do it. Um, next, there's a set screw on the bottom of the laser unit. Um, go ahead and just remove that set screw. The laser itself won't fall out. It's actually pretty snug in there. And then I found by once you remove that set screw, the laser unit itself, the whole assembly, actually slides off the bracket. Uh, once it slides off the bracket, you can um, install the new laser assembly by sliding that assembly back onto the bracket. There's going to be a little pressure switch or a little pressurized plate behind it. Just get a little screwdriver or a flat metal object um, or plastic object and push that in while you're pushing the laser assembly down. And then you can go ahead and reinstall the set screw onto the new laser unit um, and then go ahead and uh, put the PCBs back on. It was just super simple that way, instead of taking everything apart and removing the whole unit from the carriage, um, it was a lot faster, it didn't have to take the fan off, and it was more plug and play this way without damaging the unit itself. So uh, if you wanted just a quick way to do it, that's probably the best way I can think of doing it. If you find a better way, please comment uh, with your method. Um, but. I also did twist the wires together to kind of shorten them um, so they don't smack around too much. So like I said, that was the easiest way for me. If you find a better way, go ahead and comment with that.
Okay, so uh, new laser is installed. Haven't powered it on, haven't homed it, haven't done anything, so we're all going to do this together. <clears throat> so, new laser, uh, new laser PCB. This is the old PCB um, and the old limit switch for the laser card. And this is the old laser unit. Um, so, swapped it out, got the new one in. Um, you know, just so you guys can see, I'm not playing any tricks and, you know, have a working unit. So, I'm uh, going to do this together. We're going to power it on and connect. I'm using GRBL panel. Um, for some reason, G-Code Center just stopped working on me. And I'm actually wearing the uh, laser goggles, which make the room look ridiculous. So, uh, let's get it power and let's home this thing. So, the Emblazer comes with a um, a homing lockout and what it does is it prevents it from doing anything, pulsing a laser or anything unless it has been homed. So let's home this real quick. Run the home cycle. And this is just going to find the X and the Y axis, um, the very limit of each. And it'll tell me if the limit switches are correct. And it looks like they're correct. Um, I'm going to move this down a bit. Okay, after uh, crashing it, um, I just got it centered again. Uh, did smaller steps this time to make sure I got it dead center where I needed it. So we're going to focus the laser now. I've already adjusted it to its lowest point with this tool. Um, that's pretty much as low as it goes. They said there's going to be some gap there. Uh, I'm going to see if I can fix that later on, but for uh, testing purposes, let's, let's get this thing home now. Hopefully this thing turns on. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, so like I said, we're all going to find out together. So here we go. and nothing. Okay, super fast update. Um, at the end of my last little rant, uh, the laser wasn't on. Um, after jumping on the forum and letting them know my issue, I, uh, I came back and I looked at the Arduino board because I was assuming that maybe there was a connection issue on the Arduino board. Um, I never thought that the ribbon cable was having any issue because the fan was always spinning and the limit switches were working but um, I went back to the Arduino board and I double checked that connection and it looks like one of the contacts on the ribbon cable wasn't making contact on the Arduino board so uh, because of that the laser was not initializing and because it wasn't initializing um, it wasn't working and uh, you know that was causing an issue with the uh, with the focus and, every, and and even initializing. So um, this may have been a an issue that happened beforehand. Also, um, I'll, I won't really I don't really know honestly. Um, I'm not going to swap the old laser unit. I'm just going to send it back to Darkly. But I'm going to try to focus it again. Um, hopefully this time everything goes uh, according to plan. Um, now I am going to be wearing. Um, these uh, space goggles to focus it. So, um, haven't tried it, gonna try it again, and hopefully everything works out. Now, I have read that this focusing lens needs to basically be almost coming out. So, when focusing the uh, laser, um, I found the best way to do it is actually back the whole um, focusing unit out as far as you can and then put it back in um, it literally is best, best focused when it's almost falling out of the unit so um, back it all the way out and then tighten it in um, half turn uh, to a full turn um, and then slowly adjust from there that seems like the best way to do it and it gives you the sharpest focal point uh, I don't really know why it was designed this way um, if I were to redesign it I probably would tell Darkly to uh, 
put the unit a little farther forward. This may have been an issue having to do with the uh, heat sink or the way the laser was mounted, but um, you know, definitely something I don't like about that. But in the end, it does work um, doing it that way. Uh, there's also a spring in there that might pop out, so just be careful when adjusting that. Um, and then uh, getting that focal just just perfect. Um, it did take me a little bit, uh, you know, getting it focused. I did try it a couple times. So uh, you know, take your time with it. Don't rush it. Um, you can you can definitely tell there's a difference once the focus is is spot on. So. Um, you know, more comprehensive review of the laser is going to be coming as soon as I get some cuts under my belt and play with it a little bit more. I don't know if you can hear it in the background during this video, but I'm actually doing some cuts with it now. Um, the best thing I can say is that you know I'm just going to play around with it some more and then do a better comprehensive and maybe even a time lapse cut. So subscribe to the channel. You know, comment what you want to see more, what you want to see cut. If you guys got projects you want to see, um, you know. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Obsessions, O-B-S-E-S-S-C-I-O-N-S. -S -S and, uh, you know, just keep a lookout for my videos. So until next time, subscribe, comment, and get your friends to like the video. Uh, there's going to be updates uh, as much as possible. All right, have a good one.